I am Jama Martin, Jama De Cruz Martin, and uh, I studied at Odinham since 1957. And uh, at that time, the principal was Father Gudino, and uh, we had a lot of lovely time with, uh, with all our classmates. It was very difficult those days because uh, I did not know Marathi, Hindi, Marathi. As I had come from uh, Iran, Abadan, Iran. Yeah, I was born there, and uh, my parents had to come back. So we had gone to Goa, and from Goa we came to Bombay in 1956. 57, I was admitted in Hobinam High School. Uh, right up till 2005, I had been a student as well as a teacher, and also a, a principal of the primary section. And we had a lot of programs. The, all our festivals were, uh, were celebrated. We had students coming from all over, from Crawford Market right up till the station. The parents, though, though illiterate, were very loving and caring, and they instilled a lot of respect towards the teachers. We had a Marathi sir, Mr. Kuhn, who's still, who's still living and who's in Versailles. He's now 90. We had Mr. Moses, another very important figure there, who did a lot for the school. Mrs. Kulanikar, she was a Marathi teacher from the Pastelin. And uh, that time the school was a very old uh, building, and we were not allowed to come, come to the, towards the balcony because it would fall off any minute. Our second principal, Father Effect, rebuilt the whole school, if you see today. We had another elderly, not elderly, middle age, but uh, outside the school gate, we used to sell uh, a lot of uh, buddhika bar and bora, mango, etc. He was there right up till 1969. Then his son took over. Convent Street is completely changed, and it has a lot of people, people coming and selling things outside the gate. Uh, the whole of Kalaba has changed. I'm Suresh Chandrasekhar, an advocate practicing at the Bombay High Court at the Supreme Court. I'm an ex-student of Kulinim High School. I passed out in the year 1973 from the 11th standard. I think it was one of the last batches of the 11th standard. Um, Kulinim School is due to complete 85 years shortly. And um, my memories of school days are uh, not very, very clear, but the uh, uh, fact is that in school I was a very very timid boy. In fact, uh, the barring the boy who sat next to me, even my class teachers didn't know me by name. But um, after I became a lawyer in the year 1983, that is 10 years after passing out from Holy um, Name, um, I have been in touch with most of the teachers as well as the principal and uh, one of the persons who I remember very vividly and who became a very close friend of mine later on was Mr. Alex Vaz, who was the physical training teacher of Holy Name. He was a renowned uh, international football referee. But he was a very, very tough taskmaster and um, I used to be really scared of him and I would want uh, you know it to be uh, it to rain or something to happen so that the PT class is cancelled. And uh, so I wouldn't have to be under his, uh, 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 you know, uh, have to attend his class. Yeah, in the tough exterior, he was a very uh, uh, good soul. And uh, he passed away about two years back. Mm. All my siblings have passed out from Holy Name. My elder sister, Sabina Chandrasekhar. My younger brother, Mr. Vinod Shekhar, who passed away a few years ago, was a municipal corporator from the Kolaba constituency. He was very, very active in the South Bombay uh, area and uh, uh, my younger sister, uh, Miss Anita Castellino Shaker, uh, is also a practicing lawyer. She, my brother-in-law, Mr. Robbie Bruno Castellino, is also a lawyer. He is also an ex-Polini student. My youngest brother, Mr. Vijay Shaker, uh, who is also a Polini student, every function that the school had, every activity that the school conducted 
my family has always been a part of the school and the school has uh, has done so much for the children of this area that every every person in south bombay uh, who cannot afford the top ib schools or the cambridge schools they buy for joining holy name schools the teachers in the holy name i remember them as being you know all teachers with a heart who for whom teaching was was not just a profession but it was a passion they taught students who could barely speak english to uh, become really good in their uh, in their studies and if you look at the background of these children many of them come from the slums where there is no even proper lighting for them to study at night and uh, even in the daytime the rooms they live uh, families of 7 and 8 live in a room 10 by 10 and uh, in spite of those odds they've done so well and i'm sure that uh, in the few years to come polini will do even better and will make our mark throughout the world hi i'm ramesh bulchandani and i am a ex student of holy name and it's been it's a nice feeling to be here 85th year of our holy name i am a ex student of the 1972 batch and uh, very proud to be a part of the holy name clan and uh, we still have our group 72 group going and two years back in 2022 we also had a golden jubilee celebration reunion uh, which we enjoyed for over two nights we stayed at the manori beach and it was very very uh, touching and to be in touch with all my young kids my friends and we and then we were about to leave it was uh, very I have lost a lot of words to express and we then feel both like leaving our friends and going to back to our places in 1968 69 we also went to Kashmir which is also a memorable trip which we had Miss Jemma was a part of it and we really enjoyed with Father Alex Fernandez at the helm of the as he was along with us for the entire trip we really enjoyed ourselves i am a businessman and i am the owner of the hotel just right behind me strand hotel and i have been i have born and brought up in kolaba and a part of kolaba always have been a part of kolaba and it's a very nice feeling to be here at this moment to celebrate this 85th year of our holy name foundation thank you so much I am Anil Degam. I <coughs> did my basic schooling from Pulinim High School. I started off in '58 and passed out in '69. Those were the glorious years, 11 years, good memories and things like that. After '69, <coughs> passing off, I did my graduation, then post graduation, and moved on in my career. But Pulinim and all my companions in Pulinim. for always there with me we still are in touch we have uh, batch wise groups and we are in touch with each other our batch is 69 batch then we have 74 batch and then we have having batch all the way up to 2010 we holy namers are so proud of our uh, holy name that we are having a inter batch reunion in which 40 years of all the batches will meet together and uh, this will be announced very shortly and we are proud of our heritage and we want to meet our batchmates who are spread all over the world and do holy name had humble beginnings but i am proud to say most of our holy namers have made their mark all over the world we have people in canada we have people in australia they are dominating in dubai we have people into in legal field in the medical field in the entertainment field in the hospitality field so holy lemurs have done us proud 
we had humble beginnings but now we are proud to say that in the 85th year this has been <coughs> something we can look back to a legacy that i am proud to be a part of hello i am dr vishnu mulchanani practicing at behind taj mahal hotel i am a product of holy name high school i passed out my ssc examination from holy name high school in the year 1966 what a memorable year there i learned a lot of things my english teacher taught me number one grammar he said you must read ren and martin over and over and over and again and i got very good marks in the 12th with my inter science and my hindi teacher taught me a lot of pure hindi i remember his praises today also jeevan mein kuch aisi ghatnaye ghatti hai jinhe samay nasht nahi kar sakta jo yaad aane par aaj bhi mere dil aur dimag mein halchal paida karti hai they coached me very very well i passed out very very well and then after that i went to kc college there after what i went to bangalore mysore for my medical college then i became a doctor in 1973 then i joined jasno hospital for the next one year and i am doing private practice is last 48 years behind taj thank you my name is dorin desa and i passed out in 1971 from holy in my school i have very vivid memories of school very warm memories which i cherish I still remember my very first day at school walking from Kalagoda where my home was down the Jangirat gallery to Holy Name which would take us just about 20 uh, 10 minutes and at that time no parent ever accompanied their, their their children and I think I learned my independence right from day one you know doing things on on our own having lot of cultural activities which the teachers would support but which was our initiative school was school was fun studies of course but lot of play you know we used to come back home to have lunch there was no dappa system and we used to rush back to school and have lots of time for play even during intervals after school i think those are the memories i will cherish from holy name and of course all our teachers and uh, you know sister mercy and fx fernandez after i left holy name i graduated from elphiston college then did my library science to the mumbai university and then my masters in history from mumbai university i joined the scholar as a librarian for 5 years and then i i was the head librarian of kc college for 3 years and then 18 years at the British Council Library, heading the lending section. I have a lot of uh, friends around, and I have I have taught a lot of students all over, they are all over the world doing well for themselves, and I am very grateful to all of us here at Holy Name. I just want to say that Holy Name meant a lot to me and to all my family members. And now. Uh, the Holy Name is completing 85 years, and I am very proud of it to be there. Yeah.